Hey everyone, my name is Monique LeBlanc and I wanted to welcome you to my blog, Fig Leaf Kitchen. Fig Leaf is first and foremost about food. I'm going to be sharing a lot of my own recipes and my family's recipes, as well as recipes that I find and learn from around the world. I'm also going to be writing a lot of stories about food and food culture and how food intersects with identity. And lastly, I'm also going to be sharing with you a lot of my favorite local restaurants and food stories, as well as restaurants, food stories, and things I try on my travels. Um, so it's going to be a lot of different things, but it's all just centered around, you know, really good food and telling meaningful stories to go with it. Big Leaf Kitchen has been a dream of mine for a while now. I've been working on and off on the website and developing content since September. Um, and I'm still in the process of editing a lot of videos and getting content ready for you, but I think it's in a really good place to share and I'm really excited for you guys to see it. But before we dig a little bit deeper into Fig Leaf Kitchen, I want to tell you a little bit about me for the people who are watching this who are not my friends or family. Uh, I am currently living in New Orleans, Louisiana. However, I'm from a town that is about two and a half hours west from here. And in Lafayette and Acadiana in general, um, food, like really good food and good cooking is just totally ingrained into the culture there. And growing up there I developed a huge love of, of like what good cooking is and like the time that it takes to make amazing things. So it's really through Cajun food that I realized how much more food could mean to people and how much more my own food meant to me because even moving a few hours away from my home I felt myself longing for food like I had never longed for it before and just like feeling a connection to it very personally and I started to realize that I had come from a very unique food culture that I just hadn't appreciated previously. So because of that, I also found myself really connecting with people over food. The more I cooked and the more I got passionate about with it, the more I talked with people about it and got to connect with them over their foods and like their food identity and whatnot. So other than Cajun food, um, I really love cooking Middle Eastern food. I did Middle Eastern studies in college um, and got acquainted with the culture and therefore the food that way. And a few summers ago, I ate my way through Israel, Jordan, and Egypt. I, I learned a lot. I learned a lot of really great recipes and I just, I love the techniques and the flavors used, especially in those areas. I'm also very passionate about South Asian cuisine. My boyfriend is Pakistani and I have learned a lot of techniques and foods through him and cooking together. I'm also really getting into Vietnamese food because I live in New Orleans and there's a big Vietnamese population here. So I've really been able to explore Vietnamese food in a way that I haven't previously been able to do. And that's really exciting. So I'm excited to actually start cooking it a bit more and understanding it and its flavors and techniques. So as I see it, Fig Leaf Kitchen has three main goals. The first is to teach you how to make really good food and empower you in the kitchen to try different things. The second is to explore the deeper meaning behind food and explore how food and identity intersect and to sort of, you know, get to know each other and get to know the world through what we eat. And third is to make people more passionate about cooking, what they eat, and sharing that love and passion with other people. Lastly, I'd like to put a request out there. Um, I am interested in doing what I think will be a really cool series about food identity and the individual. Um, I want to meet up with someone and cook a dish that reminds them of their culture, their upbringing, um, or just something, some sort of like special feeling or memory or like something that links with who they are. Um, I want to cook that with them. I want to either video it or take pictures of it and then after we're going to talk about that. We're, I'm going to interview them. We're going to have a conversation over the food that we created and I'm going to share that with the recipe. I think it's going to be a really cool way to learn about other people and learn about how other people see food um, and I'm really pumped about it. So with that being said, if you are interested in cooking a meal with me, uh, please hit me up, whether or not that's through email or some other way. If you know me more personally, like I'd love to chat and like get something like this going with you. Uh, but if you don't live in Louisiana and I can't easily drive to you and do this series with you, email me and let's figure something out because you know, we have the internet and iPhones and all sorts of things. So it's like, we could definitely, we can definitely do something. 
So lastly, if you go to bigleafkitchen.com, I already have a few recipes and posts up that you can check out now. And in the next two weeks, I'm going to be editing and posting videos and written content for you to check out. I, I'm really excited about it. I think you're going to love it. But until then, you can follow us also on Facebook and Instagram. I would highly recommend following us on Instagram, though, because I will have a lot of content stories and recipes that may not end up on the website ASAP. So check that out. So yeah, that's about it. Um, I just want to say welcome. And I also want to say thank you to everyone who has pushed me to get to this point because I really needed all those pushes. Um, if you, you know, want to collaborate or want to give me feedback or just, you know, want to talk about food, hit me up. My inbox is always open to that stuff. Um, I'm really excited about this and I'm really excited to see where it goes. And I'm so thankful to every one of you that is part of this journey. So that's it. <laughs> Might be a lot more of these awkward moments.